They say that couples that app together stay together, or at least something like that. Uh, now, Grads and Amber are here to tell us about some of the apps that help them stay connected as a couple that'll hopefully be useful to you guys if you are in a relationship and relatively tech savvy. Although some of these aren't, you don't have to kind of really push the boat out, but all very useful. Some of them I haven't been introduced to, so I'm glad you guys are here. Now that you are like a very Couple, couple. Yeah. You, you put a ring on <laughs> it. Official. Yeah, you put a ring on it. And now you, you have to. Well, we, we're, share very, your apps. we're very tech savvy and like uh, Amble's sure. very tech forward. So putting technology in our lives and making it like work together is. Because our point is it mustn't be gratuitous, it must actually add value. Yeah. One app that I do use, my family uses, Nomola. How do you guys use it? Give us a bit of background there. Well, so Nomola is actually a great app uh, that can link your family so you can know the whereabouts of your family at all times. It's also got an SOS button. Mm. So if you are in a particular situation and you need to alert people, you can press the SOS button. And here's the trick. It will not only alert your family members, but it alerts the relevant people to come and fetch you. So if you're in a car accident and you have capacity to reach your phone, or if you're in an incident and you need to get hold of the police, For it sure. won't just contact the police. It will totally ping them first, but your family will be pinged at the same time. No, it is, and it's a brilliantly designed app, really easy to use, and I like the fact that, as you say, it's multiple alerts go out at the same time and they alert the relevant um, people that you need. You need to go shopping, he's out, you're at home, you realise you need something that's not there. How do you guys connect with your shopping list? What app do you use? Keep. Yeah, it's, it's been really beneficial for us because even when you're at home and you think, ah, oh, we need this and I'm going to remember it later, you're not going to remember do. it Never later. Never do. No, so of course. So if you just type it in quickly, then whoever happens to be at the store, they can tick it off real time. You yeah. can add more. So Google Keep is like a note-taking app, mm -hmm. but the difference is that we can share particular notes. Yeah. So whatever I do on a singular note is updated on the note, like collectively, for, for both of us. So what we've actually done recently, which is quite cool, is that you can add uh, Google Keep as a widget on your homepage, so that so that instead of going into the app and then adding shopping lists, it becomes like it's you just know, always there. Yeah. Boom, just ah. unlock your phone. Yeah, just unlock your phone, add it to the list, and then when I'm, I'm at the store, you, you, like, or, or Amble's at the store, like... Mostly you. If you uh, at this point in time, I'm the one who's... who's yeah, on we all have a role to play, bro. We all have a role. Uh, then I can see, like, some maybe something that Amble dropped down, like, a few days ago is there, and it was something we would have normally forgotten. and be like, damn, we should And now you look like a hero paper. when you come home with the peanut butter or whatever yeah. it is that you, you get. So we also, we also love our music. And one of the ways that we've been able to share our music... Do you have similar music tastes? No. Really? <laughs> no, not at all. Oh, wow. Yeah. So this is great. Well, OK, <laughs> put it this way. My music taste is wider, so I appreciate more of her music <laughs> than she appreciates wow. of mine. So, Fair. So... Fair. <laughs> our thing is, if he's driving, I'm in control of music, so I just get to skip all the songs I don't like the whole Fair time. Game. But... Hands on the wheel. But with Spotify, they've got a couples feature called Duo. And you can make Ooh. Duo playlists where it will alternate between the most popular songs on each of your tastes. So if you're on a long car drive and you don't want to necessarily fight for whose music is getting played, Just let everybody will get equal it. coverage. I you love that. You can go that. like, you know, it's your song and then it's his song and then it's your song and then it's his song. Yeah. With, with so many magical moments happening in your lives, like daily at the moment, you just are clearly in your season now, which is wonderful. You want to capture those moments and you want to make sure that you are kind of co Relating those photos, what do you use for your photo management? We use Google, Google photos. photos. Yeah, Google Photos is a, is a great tool. Um, one of the things that it does very well is it has facial recognition. So if Amble uploads a photo of me, she can make a playlist just automatically of photos of me that will get auto get auto populated. Aww, how romantic. Um, or look at memories. Oh yeah, look at memories. That's the other thing. Yeah, yeah. it pops up with those uh, ad hoc memories every yes. now and again. Um, which is great. So, like, it'll pop up with a memory going, like, this is what happened a year ago today. And it'll be like, oh, it was your birthday. Or, oh, it was that special time. Or, oh, it was, like, something cool, you know. Um, oh, oh, we only oh. just started dating. And, um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you. Actually, yes, that happened the other day. <laughs> so, no, I love that. It's nostalgic, it's romantic. I, for me, it's the kids, and you've got that to look forward to, is you'll be sent something with your, your little bubble when she was, like, three months, and you're like, oh, my word, I can't believe she was that little, that cute, that small. Love it. 
Uh, you're both big on your reading, but you want to be able to kind of have again shared interests. What do you? Yeah. What's your go-to there? So definitely the Kindle. I was actually really against getting one initially because I was like, I want a real book. I I'm want to feel it, yeah. and smell it. And then Grant convinced me to convert to the Kindle, and now I don't know what I've been doing <laughs> my whole life without one. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's wild, and it's it's one of those things. Like the benefit of having a physical book is that you can share it, right? Yeah. You can give it to your partner. Yeah, one person you can have reads a, it, the other person reads it. Reading circle. So yeah. what Kindle have done is that you're able to share your uh, your books within your family. Mm -hmm. So you create a family on 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 Amazon, and then you are able then to like if I buy a book. Amble has access to it as my spouse, and and the kids as well. And mm -hmm. you can lock off what books you don't want the kids to read. So you might be reading, uh, I don't know those paperback pop books that you don't want kids yeah. to read. Um, and then you, you can actually make sure kids don't have access to those books, which is very cool. Or you can buy books in your library, but your kids will have access to those books. To those as know. well. Uh, it's a family affair. And these things you have to consider. The next group of apps we're going to be discussing in a, in a few months' time <laughs> is going to be baby apps, baby apps. monitoring That's apps. That's a bad idea. And there's, and there's some yeah. brilliant ones out there, especially with baby leaps and the things they go through. You guys are awesome. I love the fact that you've integrated technology into your life in this way that really does add value. It's not just about doing it for the sake of, but these are ways that couples, yes, can be brought close together. We love you guys because we love love. Always such a pleasure connecting with the two of them to chat about some of the latest apps. And of course, normally it's about the gaming industry where they both have a lot of fun and more of that on the way. But sending both of them all the best of luck.